Hello and welcome to my mess. This is a little quick little introduction showing you the new um, ATM Mini um, and I'm controlling this through 1988 Grass Valley control panel and this is the same control panel that I uh, do use with all other ATMs but just going to show you that 1980s technology almost 2020 technology is all working here just fine and uh, currently my setup I have at the moment is an input one here's the input one I have just an off-air feed input two I have just a little domestic Panasonic camera input three I have uh, a media player playing here and input four I have an ATEM 2ME uh, multi-view output going to input four input five and back back here input five i have the media player built into the um the um, atem mini input six come back here a bit i have um that's just color background one input two i've got color background two input eight you've guessed it color bars and that's that's all the inputs available that are on um that are on the the mini but as you can see all of them are accessible on the gvg control panel we've got black on input 10 just in case you um you need black so there's black and um i can do a fade up here to media player from black you've also got the um, fade to black buttons down here so if i hit fade to black you'll see the fade to black button comes on uh, as well as the downstream keys, I can do a downstream key on um, somewhere there that's working. Um, and um, now, just to be aware, um, so I see some people have been asking me about um, the uh, using one of these as an input to a, a larger ATEM. Just be aware that this doesn't do interlaced; it only does progressive but the good thing about it is that whatever you plug into it regardless of what it is it will always make it make it um, the selection that you've selected or whatever is on input one so in the moment input one I've got here is an off-air feed and that's coming in as interlaced it's, it's 1080 i 50 um, but you can see the output here is 1080p 50 now up here you can see I've got the software control panel and if I go up to here and I just go select output and I tell output to go to camera one direct you come down here now you see it's now you see it's actually using whatever's coming in and here it's coming in as 50i or oh, sorry 1080 50i 50 so that's what's coming in so just re, just be aware of that if you um if you have this grand illusions of using this as a a feeder to a bigger ATEM, um, you're either going to have to run it 50p um, um, or use one of these little beasts, which I think we're all aware of, uh, to get it up to 1080i. And, um, and as you can see here, I can do all, I'm just using the GVG panel here. Uh, let's, say, let's say we want to fade up to um what are we on now we're on um go to camera two so i just want to fade from um off air to camera that's the camera there here's me waving my hand in front of it and then we can just um we can do all that well oh, fingers in the way and we can do all the all the business that we need that's going to the media player i can then go over to um, input four which i've just got as a multi-viewer and um uh, and you can also do wipes there's a little, there's a little edge wipe uh, it does all all the keying functions that are on the panel here it all work just remember that it's only got one upstream key and one downstream key but they're all accessible on the grass valley control panel um and there you have it that's just very quick uh, usage of the um, grass valley uh, control panel with the ATEM Mini.